Assalamualaikum Welcome back to Detail Electronics Let's start In this example We'll still design a mod 5 counter Using JK flip flop But we're using different approach The unused state in the example 1 We set go to 0 But for this example We set the unused state as a don't care Alright, the desired number of bits and number of flip flops still same with the example one. We specify the counting sequence and draw the state diagram. So we have to draw a new state diagram. The state diagram for counting sequence is still the same, but the state diagram from the for the unused state is different. We have state diagram like this, and then this approach is the easier way to design the counter compared to the example number one. Okay, you can compare between these two approach at the end of this step. Okay, so this state diagram is same with the example one. The difference is only at this part, the unused state. You have to mention here, all the next state for unused state is don't care. So, to draw the next state table, for the counting sequence, this one, same with example number one. Okay, so we can just use uh, the same next state table, but the difference start at this one, at the unused state. Okay, so from here, the unused state 101, 110 and 11 go to the don't care. So here should be 100 go to 000 and this one 101 go to don't care, 110 don't care and 11 don't care. Next, develop a transition table showing the flip-flop inputs required for each transition by referring to the JK flip-flop transition table. When present state 1 and next state 0, the JC equals to don't care 1. When present state 0, next state 0, JK equals to 0, don't care. And present state for A equals to 0. Next state A equals to 0, so J A K A equals to 0, don't care. For unused state, the control inputs, since it goes to don't care, so all the flip-flop control inputs is don't care. Okay, this is the transition table for mod 5 counter if the unused state set to don't care. Next step is simplify the J and K states from the transition table in step 3 using KMAP. To transfer the control input into KMAP, we refer to the column of present state. Draw the KMAP for JA. We refer to the value of the JA in this column. When present state equal to 0, 0, 0, so JA equal to 1. Write down 1 here. And when CBA equal to 0, 0, 001, JA is don't care. Next, referring to this value here, we put it in the care map. So 1, don't care. 0, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Grouping the bit 1 to simplify the equation, we get the JA equal to B bar. And then we repeat this step for all JK control inputs KA, JB, KB, JC, and KC. For KA, we group all the cells to simplify the KA. So KA equal to 1. And for other control input, JB equal to A, KB equal to A, JC equal to BA, and KC equal to 1. After that, we implement the expression with combinational logic and combine the flip-flops to create the counter. Since it is a 3-bit counter, so we need 3 flip-flops and make sure all the flip-flops connected to the clock input. And then, JA equal to B bar, this one. KA equal to 1. JB equal to A. And KB as well equal to A. JC equal to B dot A. So it's JC connected to the output of the end gate and the input of the end gate is A and B. Last one, KC equal to 1. When we compare the solution for example 2 and example 1, this solution gives us more simple circuit. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Assalamualaikum.